How many bullets you got in you? 16, I think. It might be good to have a doctor look at you sometime. It might be good to have a doctor look at you sometime. I ain't got no bullets in me. Because I was covering you. You may have heard there was a prison break. It was Bonnie and Klein. Governor, this has to end. They've committed dozens of armed robberies and several cold-blooded murders. What do you plan to do about Bonnie and Clyde? We will capture them. Write that down and underline it twice. There's only one man who can take them down. I'll come back. Hey, you got room for one more? Not even packed. Ah, oh, Judas Priest, get in. This is 1934. Gangster. During the Depression in 1930s America, public enemies Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow have been on a violent crime spree for two years across the Midwest, consisting of robbery and intentional murders. Desperate to put an end to this violence, former Texas Rangers and partners Frank Hamer and Manny Gall are assigned the task of putting an end to the continuous killing spree of Bonnie and Clyde under any circumstances. The governor of Texas, Ma Ferguson, assigns these two former Texas Rangers the title of Powerman. After many chasing attempts to catch Bonnie and Clyde, they successfully complete their assignment on May 23, 1934, with the help of local authorities in Beanville Parish, Louisiana. The setting in this film is 1934 and takes place in many states throughout the U.S. Throughout the entire film, the setting takes place in well-known routes that Bonnie and Clyde have been taking while they are making their run from the law. The majority of the film shows Frank Hamer and Mindy Galt traveling and living in their car as they are in search for Bonnie and Clyde. The theme of this film is good versus evil. This is shown throughout the entire of this work. The film consists of the high men hunting down the well-known criminals in a search for justice against their evil and immoral choices. For example, at the time they were killed, Bonnie and Clyde were believed to have killed 13 people along with many robberies and burglaries. The highwaymen would be known as the good because of their willingness to take charge in order to successfully put an end to the disaster and influence that Bonnie and Clyde were causing in America. The mood of this film is serious. This is intended for the audience to support and sympathize with the highwaymen as they travel across the United States, overcoming obstacles placed in their path. This is done by showing scenes of Bonnie and Clyde committing crimes while well showing in great detail the effort the highwaymen had to put in order to be one step ahead of the experienced and knowledgeable criminals. For the critical lens, I chose class. This is because Bonnie and Clyde did not grow up in a wealthy family and lived in one of the well-known poverty towns at the time. With the actions of Bonnie and Clyde taking place in the time of the Great Depression, the film gives the viewer an idea of how bad the conditions are where Bonnie and Clyde come from. This builds an assumption of the social class they come from and possible reasoning of why they are committing heinous crimes. Overall, I truly enjoyed this movie because it keeps you intrigued from beginning to end. The film also gives you knowledge of an event that took place in America in a time when technology was not as advanced as this day when it comes to catching criminals. The film also gives you an inside look of what it was like during the 1930s in the time of the Great Depression and allows you to make connection with the characters in the movie.